All right, so those two ducks that I was showing you, here's where they're at. They go through the garage. You can see a little hole right there. That's our system. Um, <clears throat> so I've got to take this one off and crawl through there and do my connection and my, work my way backwards. Same thing with this one here. I'll do this one first because, of course, it's on the top. Get it done, and uh, then I'll work on this one. So that's it on this. Almost got it. Just got to get around the flanges here. Don't let it kick my butt for sure. But I think I can do it. Alright, so it's on. Now I just have to go in the garage there and uh get everything attached. Cool. Have my drill, Tim. Have my drill. Alright, let's check it out. There you go. That was on panel. I'm going to fire install. No. Let's see. All right. That's the model and serial number. All the stuff and save. Uh, there you go, look at that. Uh, we're gonna hold it, we're gonna cool to 72 done so I'll come back through here and I'll set all this up but that's basically what the uh, thermostat does when you first start it up can't hold my camera and I'll set it all up at the same time all right y'all so I have the inverter installed actually it's just ramping down hold on a second that thing, thing is too bad. Now maybe you can hear me. Look, this unit is running. You can see the fan turning and we're just talking normally. I know that there's some haters out there that really hate me for using the zoom lock fitting. But you know what? What can I say? It made it easier for me. If something happens and that valve leaks, guess what? I'm the one that has to replace it. Guys, there's two million zoom lock fittings out there. 2 million. There's 1,500 contractors in America that are using the Zoom Lock. Ask any one of them if they would ever go back to brazing, and they say no. But the one thing about it is brazing will never, will never take the place of brazing. I had to use it on this job. Um, I'll show you in here uh, when we go in the basement. All right, y'all, so here's the inside unit. I know I didn't get a lot of video, but there just wasn't time. I mean, I, I took the duckboard, put them off, and I added metal. Um, same thing with over here. Uh, I took the duck duckboard return, drop duck, took it off, and made it all metal. I added an ultravasion filter, 90 degree box, and let me explain why I used a 90 degree box instead of setting. Uh, a media cabinet under the air handler. The reason I did that is because if something happens to the coil, you know, it overflows or for whatever reason it freezes up um, or whatever reason, it won't, water won't get on the filter. So that's why I did the, the 90 degree box. Plus, here's another reason I did. 
because I could seal everything up. Everything, there's not one joint in here that's not sealed up. I couldn't get down here at the bottom of the air handler and the plenum, couldn't get there. So what I did is I took mastic and on the frame of this return plenum, I put mastic all the way around. So this thing is actually setting on a bed of mastic. Uh, and then of course we taped where we could get, you know, can't, couldn't really get around the back very well because of the wall and my arm is just too big. My helper's arm, he couldn't get it back there either, even if we could. And it's mastic tape too. Uh, the only thing that I used silver tape on was just this connection right here. Everything else has got a mastic tape seal. Um, the drives have got a mastic tape seal. So that's pretty much it. Now, the, dry, the, the brazing part. I had to braze the dryer. Um, I did have to braze the dryer, but if you notice right here, uh, I use a zoom lock fitting. I cut the end off of the, I cut the bell off of the uh, uh, stub out and I used a zoom lock fitting there. And I actually brazed the stub on the suction line because I just didn't have enough room on the, um, that little stub out. Just wasn't enough room in my opinion. So I brazed it here and I zoom locked it here, brazed it here, zoom locked it there. You know, that's my choice. Now what I want to touch on is, every, I've read all the comments and the guys are like, I can braise faster than you can zoom lock all the prep time. But wait a second, can you really? Because if you're brazing correctly, you are having to deburr the pipe and you're going to have to sand the pipe. That's all you have to do with the zoom lock. You deburr and sand. So if you're doing proper, proper brazing techniques, there's no way you can touch the zoom lock because I, I can tell you that it takes you longer to braise because I braised this and I zoom locked that. That took me 10 seconds. This took me longer. Plus I had to use water on it and to cool it down. I didn't have to cool the pipe. But anyway, that's enough of that. Um, so that's the job. Uh, no more water on the floor. If you look close, you can see the, the water stains on the floor. Um, so I put a SS2 over there by Rector Seal. Uh, the pan has a has a pan switch in it, and the condensate pump, of course, has a float switch. Um, so that's it. She's cooling. I set this for 50% humidity last night, and I didn't take it off the program. When I got here this morning to clean up the trash, it was uh. It was back at 85, but it was 50% humidity. When I started last night, it was at 67% humidity. And so, but it was setting at 78, and it was comfortable in the house. So the woman, the homeowner was like, it's great, it's great. So, um, but that's it, that's this job. Um, not much else to say. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to my spiel about the Zoom lock. I know you still hate me, but hey. It's all good. We all get over it.